Okay, in this video we'll have a look at the Niagara emitters system of Unreal Engine and uh, at uh, some uh, emitters that I've created for my scene. I have created uh, airborne particles emitter, a fog particle, uh, rain particle emitters, and also uh, some particles to put around these stones, making it something special. So uh, let's add a look first at how I did my airborne. So I use an hanging, hanging particulate Niagara emitter for a template for this one, and uh, simply change some parameters to. Uh, as you can see the particle here I, I wanted them very little and uh, a bunch of them and uh, spawning all around my scene so uh, as you can see the spawn rate is of 1000 uh, I changed the loop duration for 0.0 uh, I uh, changed also the lifetime making it shorter making it uh, appear and disappear I added some clear colors to uh, to the scene, uh, making the scene uh, l look alive, uh, and uh, uh, ma made the, the, the alpha channel a, a bit uh, smaller than than one, uh, making the particles a bit invisible, so uh, or, or maybe transparent. Also, I change the the sprite size mi minimum and maximum a bit and uh, of course i uh, i uh, add a, a bigger box size to the scene uh, 1000 by 1000 by three, 300 uh, and i guess that's it for for this one and uh, if we activate it, as you, you can see all around here, the little particles all around Vivian, making the scene more alive, like some uh, dust in the wind or uh, some airborne particles of sorts. After that, I create a fog fog emitter using once again the I add the, the hanging particles and Niagara emitter template and uh, what I added to it I removed the loop duration I uh, added a spawn rate of 200 uh, at a li long lifetime and then for the color I use the white uh, very clean white but reduced the alpha to uh, almost uh, zero but a bit more so we can see it but we can see almost uh, uh, to make it really transparent and uh, uh, I added some uh, uh, I made the, the sprites look uh, very big uh, by uh, ma making them uh, 500 by 500 and uh, f to, to making uh, it uh, uh, englobe the scene I uh, added a, a box size of 1000 by 1000 by 1000 making it possible to uh, to to go uh, in the sky and look like uh, there there are clouds uh, and the sphere radius is two thousand is two thousand then a bunch of other things that are not that important so I guess that's it let's add a look at the fog there now you can see the fog here like that all around us and look at the sky 
the sky looks like if there are clouds. Now we'll have a look at the at the rain. For the rain, I used a fontaine Niagara emitter template and uh, changed uh, some uh, settings. Uh, I played with the, the lifetime, used uh, a simple white color, but uh, used an alpha to make uh, the, 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 the water drops transparent. And uh, Error diminish the, 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 the mass to uh, 0 0.1 uh, and I played with the universe bright size minimum and maximum making them uh, quite small and I played with the UV scale to make uh, the, the rain look look uh, look uh, longer uh, added a sphere radius of 1000 to cover the, the whole scene and there are some important uh, here I guess the cone angle is of 1 since I want it to simply go down not uh, go up and down same thing with the cone axis of one here and uh, we'll go to gravity is minus 1000 making it fall and uh, I guess uh, was that all I guess that's it for the rain. Now let's have a look at it. There we go. With the rain falling down. Let's have a look from above. Okay, now let's have a look at the thumb. For the thumb, it's a sample hanging particulates Niagara emitter template that I used, and uh, I really wanted it sample simply using almost the same uh, airborne particle particles that are in the air. Uh, of the scene making them a bit a bit uh, bigger so uh, I played with this time making sure that we see them making them a bit bigger uh, like here one minimum and two maximum uh, the box size is right is just as big as the thumb. Uh, I play a bit. I played a bit with the sphere radius too. Is that's it? It's uh, simple like that. So now let's have a look. It really simply make the thumb look appealing combined with the particle you really have the impression that there's something in the air coming from that thumb and having an effect on the whole scene yeah right so I guess that of my emitters are working so let's click play the scene oh there so 
So that's all. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.